Ben, that was a good win for London Irish yesterday. How did you feel after the game? Yeah, I think um, you're always happy to be winning games and we needed to get back to, to, to doing that. And I think the boys put in a, a really gutsy, sort of determined effort for 80 minutes and there was a fair amount of adversity. And, and, and when you drop three players to the other cards, it, it does put pressure on. But I think the, 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 the response from the players was to keep working and um, you know, dig in and, and, and play for each other. And you know, really, really proud of, of, of their, their collective effort. Shane Garrity got man of the match, but there was a lot of good performances on that side. Who do you think shone out in particular? Um, Chris Halafia probably had his, his biggest game for me uh, of the season. He, he just was demonstrating exactly how powerful a carrier and a tackler he is. and He's a real influence on the game. When, when you've got that amount of physicality out there, it really uh, drives the others around him to, to, to sort of go with him. And um, you know, he was he was pretty inspirational out there, I thought. And um, I think having having that sort of parity and, and set face platform allowed Shane to pull the strings. So of course Shane got got the plaudits for running the game. But I think uh, uh, in terms of the um, the sort of the tone setter, it was probably Chris was the was the guy for me. Tom Fowley scored a try. Quite a young player there, also on the squad. Do you think these Hamlin Cup games are important for his career building? Oh, massive. You know, he's he's playing against Star Francais, so. You know that's that's possibly the biggest game he's ever played, in, and, and and he scores a try and perform well, and, and the other touches he had, he, he he put a pass behind his back that, that kept the play moving. So he's got lots of skill. He's he's got a lot of uh, a lot of finesse. He's doing a lot of learning with with Rich, our backs coach. He's he's spending a lot of time with him, making sure that the knowledge goes in. So look, he's taking steps all the time. So the Anlin for him has been a really good competition, and um, I'm, I'm sure it will continue to be so. It's not an easy break now. You've now got to go to Paris mm. this weekend. How are you feeling ahead of that after this weekend? I can't wait. I think it's a, it's a chance. We know, it's, we know what it's going to be like there. The, the French are very passionate and um, I can imagine what their training ground will be like this week having um, having lost to us on the weekend. So um, it's, it's one of those occasions that you just can't wait for. And um, you know, our blokes are, are recovering now, getting ready for it, but they're, they're aware of what's ahead of them. And, you know, we're really looking forward to, to getting on the train, getting over there and, um, and putting in another performance that, that keeps us moving forward. Being top of the, our group in the Amman Cup must um, boost us in the Premiership, give us a bit of confidence going into sale. Do you feel that way? Yeah, look, we, we just, as I say, we just need to get back to, to winning a game. You know, we've been performing well, but coming up a bit short on the scoreboard. So now it's nice to put a, a good performance together with a win. And, you know, wins bring confidence. So, you know, guys are proving to themselves that what we're doing is, is right and, and, you know, we'll hold the ground and just keep making those improvements and confidence naturally builds. So we'll go to, go to France and, and, and prepare to put in another performance that will give us another opportunity of winning a game and that's that's as much as we can do. But uh, no, we're looking forward to, to the trip and we'll take each week as it comes and, and we'll focus on sale the week after. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it's on to Paris. And finally, the crowd was fantastic on Sunday. Really backed you guys. Did you feel that way, and did the boys appreciate that? Oh, they love it. You know, when we play at home, the fans are fantastic. They're very passionate, and um, you know, we certainly gave them, I think, something to, to get excited about yesterday. Um, they were with us 100% of the of, of the way, and uh, you know, you could feel them feeling aggrieved when we had some cards against us, and, and and that's what you want. You need to have that vociferous home support that are 100% for you, and, uh, and and are prepared to back you vocally. And, you know, our crowd's always been like that. You know, I've, I've remembered that for years. It was a big, big hallmark of this club was the, the, the fans, the supporters, are, and, and you know, it's their club. You know, they're, they're the people we're playing for. So, you know, it's great to see them in fine voice yesterday singing and, and enjoying a win. Thank you, Glenn.